So I went into like a design frenzy and we future proofed. I wanted something ornate and stupidly wasteful as the grand entryway to the noble halls, which rest right underneath their living quarters. And I eventually settled on this design. This building to the right is going to be a throne room. Not exactly sure how large a throne room needs to be. You need a few of them because you'll have a baron and a monarch. I'm actually not sure if you have multiple nobles on site or if you just have the uh, one and he keeps getting promoted. Anyhow, uh, hopefully that's as large as I'll ever need it. Um, and then up here is like a mausoleum. I wanted it to be up against the river. It's sort of like uh, I feel my designs are way too uh, mathematical, I'll say, and I wanted something just a bit more organic. And I made a grand tomb in the middle for anyone who needs that and just reflected the design. And here's a slightly more ornate grave. Not ornate, but a slightly more high quality grave for anyone who wants it, who needs it, any nobles who aren't monarch level. But uh, the important part of this floor is the three offices we got down here for our three nobles that I still have to assign. Never mind that they're the same person. That won't always be the case. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these and get his office carved out. I don't know if I mentioned it before, it was a while ago, this took uh, quite a bit of time to actually plan out. But, um, so I don't have to micromanage those uh, things, I want to unlock the management screen. Which, you need a manager with an office to do that. A couple more bedrooms got done. Yeah, and once again I will see you later. Okay, time for an update. Most recently I've laid down a plot here because I forgot about my garlic and people started either eating or cooking it or my stocks are off. Um, it should be an above ground crop. If I can't grow garlic from bulbs, I don't know how I would. Huh, we have prickleberry. But yeah, uh, above ground crops is something I'm going to have to look into. Especially garlic, because I need more of it. In other news, uh, we finished off the stockpile up top for food, and we got our dining room constructed. They just need to finish smoothing out the phone, stone and such. Bedrooms are looking nice. They haven't been eager to dig down here, which eh, I'll manage. They've been building stuff like beds and tables and other things. I have one of them working on crafts, so that when the traders come, we'll have stuff to give them. What are they currently working on? I think they're all sleeping and such, or moving items to the new stockpile. Before I forget, I should probably start thinking about furniture. I'll have this guy on cabinets. And the other one I'll put on chests. And those are the three basic things that your uh, dwarves desire in your their rooms. A chest and a cabinet to keep their things and a bed to sleep on. They can have three tiles with those three things, they'll be content. You could be like a slumlord and just give them single tile rooms, no doors or anything, but... I want my fortress to look nice. A masterpiece barrel. Um, I do want to get uh, my stock screen up and running at full capacity because I want to keep an eye on how much food and drink I have available to me. Uh, the farms did start coming in. We did get a nice harvest. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, it is now summer. Midsummer, to be exact. And I'm expecting migrants. 
don't know how I'm going to deal with them. With the uh, Necromancer Tower within range, we are definitely going to need to start thinking about a military uh, rather early on. Also, a metal smithing industry. The military doesn't do much good if you don't have weapons and armor to give them. So, I'm going to have to get my noble halls carved out, and then I'm going to have to think about where I want to strike the earth, and how deep, and start finding the uh, metals that were promised within this region. There will probably be something stupid like tin, and I guess we'll be bashing our enemies with tin clubs. I think you're all caught up. The dwarves are milling away and going about their lives. I'll contact you again if there, something else important happens. Migrants. Now, the one downside to uh, updating to a new version is Dwarf Therapist no longer works. So, I'm gonna have to manage my dwarves by myself. A couple fishers, dwarves, and fish cleaners. So I'm gonna find a zone to designate as a fishing zone. Huh. Well, most certainly not there. Uh, well, I'll put this one as one edge. We'll put that one as the other edge. Just go like so until the game doesn't let us anymore. Oh, hi, look at that. We'll say that. That gets all the pawns and, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the river in the middle. Let me just trim that real quick. There we go, that'll do. Uh, fishing source, but not a water source, because we have the well. And yeah, I think that's all. Um, fisheries. I don't know which ones work with rotting meat. I don't think any of them do, so I think it's safe to bring them inside. And maybe sort of inside, outside. We'll put them up on this cliff face here. That's not a fishery. Uh, there it is. H. One, two, three. That uh, puts it on the cliff. One, two, three. No logs. Just use stone like everyone else. I can't remember if those are automated or if I have to go in and manually tell them to clean the fish and everything. They should be automated. They really should. So aside from the fishery workers, what else did we end up with? Uh, I can't sort that out. We already had that. We have a new cook, I believe? Yeah. He knows a bit of dance and poetry. I do want to make a tavern at some point, so that'll come in handy. But aside from that, he's just a cook. So once he starts idling, I'll find some random skill to assign him to. And a spinner. Pretty much the same thing. Right, it's not bad with combat. <laughs> a spinner. He's just a spinner. Damn it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll find something to do with them at some point. Okay, the miners have no jobs. Which means... Okay, first things first. Let's... I shouldn't have smoothed that. Oh well. get those bedrooms out, and so I think we have, what is it, five, four new people? It looks like four. Perfect. I'm going to use the manager for the first time, if I can remember which shortcut that is. Uh, we're going to order up four new beds, uh, four new coffers, and Roxy. Wait, those were the coffers. Cabinets. Uh, wow, there's a lot of them. I don't even know if they're called. There they are. And that'll be... Oh, and four more doors. 
and that'll be everything we need in order to uh, set that up. And the dwarves will take care of it automatically at their leisure. I do have a couple idling. Nobles are lazy, I'm just not sure how lazy. What are you up to? You should have a job, I just assigned one. Hmm. Hope I did that right. Mm, apparently not. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Do we have any doors? Do we have any beds? No, we have spare nothing. One fifth of, we'll say ten, is like two. We currently have four tables, so we're fine. <laughs>